Uh, I want to do a comparison today between these handheld cordless vacuums. Uh, they call them stick vacuums as well. They're battery operated. They don't plug into the wall. Um, you throw them on a wall charger and whenever you need to clean something up, you just grab them and go. I was looking at the Dyson. The D Dyson's supposed to be the best. And while I was looking at that, I noticed Ryobi has one that they just came out with probably three, four months ago, it looks like. And uh, it runs off their OnePlus system. I have a bunch of their OnePlus systems, batteries and tools and stuff. So I said, hey, I'm going to try this one out. Uh, I tried researching it. I could not find any videos on this. I found one video. The guy, a guy had actually a Dyson V6. This is the V7. And uh, he preferred the Ryobi over the Dyson, which is surprising to me because this is a Ryobi, not your top of the line, versus Dyson, which is definitely top of the line. Okay, so let's see what we got here. I mean, they're very similar. They all they come with the same accessories. They're both battery powered. Um, I don't know the air movement of this. Uh, this is a hundred air watts, they call it. So I want to say that's a hundred CFM. Um, and this is a V7. They have a V8 version, which is one step higher than this, which is a hundred and fifteen CFM, uh, with a 40 minute run time. Again, this is a V7 with a 30 minute run time and they have a V6 which I believe has the same motor, motor as the V7, but a slightly smaller battery where you're getting a 20 minute runtime. Uh, the Ryobi is claiming 40 minute runtime, and then both these have a high and low speed, um, where on the high speed, you're drastically reducing your runtime down to five, six, seven minutes. Um, so they're pretty much the same, but let's see here. We got cyclone technology. So when we're cleaning up the dirt, catching the dirt, this one has a cyclone technology, this one doesn't. And what that cyclone technology is gonna do for you is the large air particles are going to drop in this lower basket and not get sucked up into your filter. This is gonna keep your filter cleaner. Uh, you're not gonna to have to replace your filter as much. You're not gonna to have to clean it as much and all that good stuff. The Ryobi doesn't have this. That filter is gonna get hit with dirt. It's gonna get dirty. I don't know if it's cleanable or not. It's definitely replaceable. So you're gonna to have to spend your uh, five, seven, eight bucks to replace that filter every now and then. Um, batteries. The Ryobi is an 18 volt part of their OnePlus system. So if you have these batteries, you can just pull this one off, plug another one in, you know, pretty much constant run time as long as you have the batteries for it. Uh, the Dyson, not the case. This battery is not replaceable. You cannot pull this off. Well, it may be replaceable. Like, I, I'm pretty sure if this battery totally craps out on you, you can undo some screws and, and replace it so this thing's working again. But it's not where you just unplug it, swap it out, and... Um, and rocking and rolling so you will have to wait and you're only getting 30 minutes of runtime six minutes on the high speed so you're gonna have to wait i mean if you can't uh you can't just swap the batteries out this is 18 volts this is 21 volts 21 volts more power um so this should be just going by voltages this should be more powerful this should have a larger runtime because it's less voltage higher capacity battery and uh that's it so, as far as, geez, weight and feel in the hand, the Ryobi, much, much heavier. Definitely much heavier. It kind of feels awkward in the hand. This is going to get odd. If you're using this for an extended period of time, this is going to get odd. This, I mean, it feels a little weird, but definitely more natural. I mean, I feel like you could go uh, kill some aliens on Halo with something like this. Um... Okay, two speeds, regular speed. It's pretty quiet, actually. Then we got a max speed.
still not that loud. I mean, it makes a noise, but not bad. And this also has two speeds. Here's the first speed. I think the first speed's high, though. This should be max speed. There's our low speed. Now, just the initial test, they both had a lot of suction. I mean, uh, the suction on both these didn't feel too bad right off the bat. Uh, okay, real quickly, let's go through what you get here. You get a couple of the sticks. These are what make an actual long, like a regular vacuum. they both about the same weight. They both have a clip system, fairly similar. The Dyson is a little bit longer. We have the wall mount. Here's the Ryobi. Here's the uh, Dyson. I mean, they're both pretty chintzy plastic. The Dyson does have some spring-loaded action, and this pivots. So apparently, I guess the Dyson's better just because of that. Clevis tools. Or Clevis. Crevice tools. These are getting into your nooks and crannies. Here's the Ryobi one. It's a little bit, a little, the Ryobi one's definitely bigger. It's got a bigger hole in here too, so you could probably suck up some larger stuff. I do think I prefer the Dyson, just because I know, uh, you know, like cleaning your car, you're going to get in there a little bit better with, with the Dyson one, I think. Uh, the Dyson also comes with this tool. You got large bristles if you pull it out and drop it down, you just got a more of a, a tight sit up with little bristles. I don't know what you're going to use that for, but I'm sure you can find something. And then we got the uh, the beaters themselves. Here are your beaters. They are both made of plastic. They don't, I mean, they feel the same quality. I want to say they both have motors in them. Does the Dyson have a motor in here? Where's the Dyson motor? It's got to have a motor to turn this beater. I don't think it's just air. I don't see the motor, though. The Ryobi, I'm pretty confident, has a motor. It feels heavy like it has a motor. It has the room where a motor, I'm sure, is sitting here and there. Um, so we'll see what goes on there. Huh. The Dyson's got to have a motor. We're going to have to check that out later. Um, now, as far as, the, like I said, the quality on these things, it feels relatively the same cheap plastic. The beater part does look a little different. Um, the Dyson looks a little nicer as far as the beater goes. It also looks like the Dyson can be opened. Uh, say you get your dog hair, some string, some carpet fabric wrapped around here, hair, what have you. It looks like you can use a key or use a tool, a screwdriver, a coin, something to actually open this up, pull that beater out, and cut off any hairs if uh, if that's the case, if that's what you need. The Ry Ryobi, no such luck. This bad boy is sealed. You can get in there, but it's going to take a flathead screwdriver and some time for sure. Now the beater itself, I mean, the bristles are pretty simple. Uh, this roll, though, feels... Of high quality, it feels like it's got some uh, some resin in there and some fiber to reinforce it. Um, so it's no joke; it can take a beating. And if you take a razor knife to it uh, to cut off any hairs, I'm sure it's going to last pretty good. All right, so that's it. A couple beaters; they're about the same size too. So I'm just concerned about if this one has a motor in it or not. It should. Let me see here. Oh yeah, we got some power prongs. We got power prongs there, so it's got to have a motor. I mean, I can stop it. Well, actually, it's got some pretty good. It's got some pretty good torque. I don't know if I can stop that. I could if I wanted, but you know. I'm trying to keep all my fingers today. Let's see what the Ryobi does. Maybe. Yeah, 
Dude, that Ryobi beater is more powerful than the Dyson, for sure. For sure. That Dyson, I stopped that. I am not, I did not stop that Ryobi one. Um, so, more power, more better. Uh, the, so far, uh, as far as the beater goes, God, that thing's heavy and awkward. Jeez, a pizza. Look at this thing. Have your wife carry her that around and she's going to be really upset with you. Still not the prettiest looking, but she's, uh... All right, enough of the introduction. I can find some dirt around here someplace, I'm sure. So let me get both these batteries on the charger and we will uh, we'll see how this thing works cleaning up some dirt. All right, be right back. All right, guys, here we go. We're gonna do, uh... <clears throat> I just spilled some shit on the floor here. It's uh, a little bit of cat litter, hair, dust, everything. We're going to run the uh, Ryobi over it first for, uh, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds. And then once we uh, pick it up, everything up with the Ryobi, I'm going to go over it again with the, uh, that's a shark rotator. And it's a pretty decent vacuum. So what I want to see, though, is I want to see what the rotator picks up because we know that has way, that's way better than the Dyson or this Ryobi. So let's uh, get this thing on here, the Ryobi, for uh, 15, 20 seconds. We'll see what it takes to pick it up. We'll run the uh, Shark on there, pick that up, and then we will uh, do the exact same thing with the Dyson, and we will see which one performs better. So uh, here we go. And we are going to, we'll probably give it 20 seconds. Here we go. That was 20 seconds. Let's go 30. I mean, I see a lot of stuff. It's not picking up there. That's 30. You know, I see some more stuff. I'm going to go with full 40. I want to say that was 50. I want to say that was 50 seconds. All right, guys, here we go. Um, this is the mess that the Ryobi picked up. There's, uh, I mean, that's a lot of shit. Cat litter, everything. And then, like I said, I, I went over it again with the uh, the Shark Rotator, the plug-in vacuum. And this is the additional that it picked up. So that's definitely what the Ryobi missed. So we're going to dump all the same stuff on the floor and do it all over again with the Dyson. And we shall see if this pile is going to be smaller. I think that's going to be the, the indicator there. All right. Oh, yeah. I forgot to show you this filter. This Ryobi filter is dirty. And, I mean, I've been... <clears throat> doing more than just this test with it. I've been using it the last couple days to check it out. But that filter is dirty, for sure. All right, exact same mess. This time with the Dyson. We'll give her the same 40, 50 seconds, whatever we did last time. Here we go.
Oh, oh we got a crash. All right, that's about it. Uh, I could tell right away this seemed to be picking up more, but let's uh, let's go dump this out and see what happens. All right, back again. There's the uh, what the Dyson picked up. This is uh, what the uh, the shark rotator picked up remaining which uh, I'll have to look back at the tail of the tape, but just from looking at it now, it looks like the Dyson blew the Ryobi away. Um, and that's it. I think I showed you guys this filter. That filter is really bad. The Dyson filter, um, I mean the Dyson filter is not gonna have a speck of dirt on it, I'm sure, which it doesn't. And that was some pretty fine hair and dust in here. All right, guys, one more thing. The beaters. This beater off the Dyson is pretty clean. A couple little things on it. But the beater off the Ryobi is covered with hair. Um, and when I use this around my whole house, it had carpet fibers, hair, all wrapped in it I've already pulled it out once a uh, bunch of hair and everything like this the Dyson we haven't did anything for so uh, the, the larger beater definitely keeps the hair out better all right guys I just want to get my final thought on this uh, the Dyson clearly beats the Ryobi uh, which we expected I mean the Ry the Dyson is top of the line the Ryobi mm, bottom of the line quite possibly uh, but the Dyson picked up more. It The filter stayed clean. As you can see, here's the Ryobi filter. It's a mess. Uh, the beater, less hair and fibers got wrapped around the beater. Um, you know what? The, uh, the Dyson also dumped cleaner, too. This basket dumped way cleaner. Like, when we dumped this, you, you pop that open, you dump it. But not everything came out. We had a lot of garbage wrapped around the filter, so we actually took this whole thing off, pulled the filter out, and dumped it that way to uh, to totally clean it. Uh, the Ryobi, the only thing Ryobi was better with was the runtime. It had a better runtime. I ran them both on uh, on high and low setting, and on both settings, the Ryobi did have quite a bit longer runtime. Uh, but other than that, Dyson beat it and everything else. So the uh, alien technology beats Home Depot's finest. Uh, Till next time. Thanks for watching.